We did it. We got our view of the mountains. Just stop in your tracks. Beautiful. Uh, we are on the road today, heading out towards Mount Rainier. I thought it would be a good time to get out of the city and out to the mountain. Uh, unfortunately, this may not be a perfect day to head out to Mount Rainier because it's a bit overcast and cloudy. It's been pretty warm in Seattle, kind of unseasonably warm. So having an overcast day will hopefully mean that we're uh, gonna have a cooler day today. At least we can hope anyway. So we just drove through the little town of Enumclaw, which is a bit uh, southeast of downtown Seattle, and we're on our way towards Mount Rainier. Uh, we're probably not gonna make it all, all the way to Mount Rainier today, but uh, I did pick a state park to stop at. Usually always gone out to the Olympic region, out to the other side of the states here, but uh, I thought, why not do something different and head out someplace I've never been to. Uh, been to Mount Rainier a couple of times, uh, but just have not really traveled too much out in this direction. So uh, today is the day for something new and something different. All right, we've made it out here. And would you look at that? Uh, just a few miles after I was saying that it was a cloudy day, we have either driven out of the cloud cover or the clouds blew away. Now we've got some sun, so I'm parking the van here to take advantage of some of that solar gain. Always got to do that. Now this is a Washington State Park, so you do need to have a Discover Pass. Uh, you can purchase one here at this little kiosk, and most of the state parks here in Washington have these little kiosks that you can buy a state pass. Uh, it's $30 for the year, or you can also buy just a day pass as well. Um, I always recommend people buy the year pass because uh, it's well worth it. For 30 bucks for a whole year, it uh, gives you access to day use, uh, just day use, no camping, but gives you access to day use to uh, all the state park system here in Washington State. It's a really good deal. Uh, it's pretty quiet out here. The interpretive center that I walked over to is closed, but there is a little sign over here that may give me some direction. Okay, so that's a little half-mile loop of trails behind us here. Uh, looks well worth doing, and such a short walk. We'll come back here and do that. And here's another little sign. Does it give us any more information? Maybe? Okay, so this map is showing uh, some driving directions and recommendations if we were gonna try to drive out toward Mount Rainier. We can't actually see Mount Rainier from the state park, but uh, in a short little drive away, we'd be able to get a glimpse of Mount Rainier, especially since uh, the sun is out, no more clouds. But first, breakfast. No, coffee. Breakfast, coffee? Probably both at the same time. You know, today I got out my old mug. This one is much better for driving, uh, but I do prefer the new mug. This one just is so much nicer. Uh, coffee tastes better out of it for some reason. Uh, although I don't like the lid on it, so I don't tend to use this one. It, well, and also this doesn't fit in my cup holder up front uh, when I'm driving, which, which this one does. So this is my driving mug. Although I haven't used this in weeks, um, it is a nice mug though. I'm glad I kept it because uh, also the great thing about this is it's a little bit bigger. Uh, this mug holds 14 ounces, I think, and this one holds almost 16. So that little bit of extra is good, although I ran out of coffee miles ago. So I, I think I'm going to start with coffee now and then we'll do breakfast after that. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the way to do it. Oh, uh, it's been really warm. I think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, unseasonably warm. And I have not been drinking a whole lot of coffee. I uh, haven't been feeling quite that great, so uh, I've just been drinking water, which, you know, is what you should be doing. Um, and I do that from time to time. Luckily, I don't get headaches when I stop drinking coffee, so that's not a problem for me. But, uh, yeah, I just wasn't in the mood to be drinking anything warm or running the stove, uh, any of that. 
So I haven't been drinking a whole lot of coffee, but uh, I still have a bag of coffee I've been working on for a while now. Uh, usually this coffee doesn't last me quite so long because it is my second favorite uh, coffee I've ever had. Um, it's from a grocery store, and it is an upscale grocery store. Uh, it's called Metropolitan Market, and they're really only around the Seattle area. There's a bunch of locations around the Seattle area, uh, but no place else. Um, they do have uh, a different store that I'm used to from Southern California called Bristol Farms. It's, it's from the same company, but uh, it's a completely different store. It's still an upscale grocery store, but... They don't sell this coffee. This coffee is only a Seattle coffee, and they keep it a big secret of who roasts this for them, where this coffee comes from. Um, they have a bunch of different coffees that they sell uh, under their own label, and they just won't tell you who roasts it, where the coffee comes from. Uh, but I think that's a good thing because I, I think it's one of the premier roasters in Seattle, uh, but because it doesn't have their name on it, because it just has Metropolitan Market name on it, uh, it's a really good deal. One of the best deals of coffee. Part of the reason why I like it so much, it's just a premium coffee at a kind of normal, like, Starbucks price. So, I mean, really good stuff. Uh, El Metro Espresso um, is what this one is. It's their house blend. And, again, you can only get it at Metropolitan Market, and you can only find Metropolitan Markets around Seattle, so... It's, uh, it's another reason to visit the Seattle area, I guess. So I decided to go back to my favorite mug, since I shouldn't be doing any driving for the moment. Uh, I never did put uh, my sticker on it. I bought uh, that little raccoon sticker from Olympia Coffee and decided to just leave it hanging up there. And you can see my sticker collection is growing here. Hmm. Well, I was going to make an egg burrito, but got the last two of my tortillas out of the fridge, and I see a little mold spot on them. So, into the trash these go. Oh well, that doesn't happen very often, but it's kind of disturbing. Uh, luckily, I stopped at a grocery outlet on my way up. I think it was in the little town of Bonnie Lake. I was just driving on my way up here and saw a grocery outlet and just pulled over, I can never help myself. Whenever I see a grocery outlet, I just have to pull over and walk through and check. And in this case, it ended up being a very good thing because uh, I bought some sourdough bread since I was in there walking around. Um, bought a few things. I've been looking for uh, some dates and they had dates at a decent price. Uh, and this is really cool. Um, as the weather started to warm up, I started to cook less beans, and I found some of these uh, Jacob's Cattle beans. And uh, recently I was talking about some Anasazi beans that are my favorite uh, that I was cooking up. I think I still have some more uh, to cook up, uh, but um, I do like to have some beans around on hot, hot or warm days where I don't want to cook anything. So I was happy to find these. These are very similar to those Anasazi beans that are my favorite. In fact, if you gave me these and told me they were Anasazi beans, I would probably believe you. Uh, they're that close in flavor and size and texture and all that. Really good. So I was happy to see these. Um, very cool. Uh, so I bought a few cans of these. I think they were just over a buck a can too. So, I mean, I could not pass them up. So I was happy I stopped in. Um, I also bought, because I've been drinking so much water lately, um, I also bought a can of Liquid Death. This is really funny stuff. Well, actually, I bought three cans. This is really funny stuff. When I first started seeing people drinking this, I'd see people driving and walking around with these, and I thought that it was beer. This is not beer. This is just water. Um, this one is sparkling water, carbonated water, but it is uh, spring water. And I guess the reason they call it liquid death is that it's full of uh, minerals and electrolytes naturally uh, occurring in the in the spring water, and so uh, it's supposed to just knock out your your uh, dehydration. I guess I'm not quite sure what the word I was looking for there. Um, so I was very suspect of this. Uh, but then I went and tried it a few months back, just just because I keep seeing it around. And 
Uh, it is very, very good. It's very minerally uh, in the flavor of it. It definitely has taste to it, even though it's just water. It definitely has taste to it. And I tried it. I thought, you know, I'm not going to buy any more. But these are 59 cents a can. And I like the fact that it's got minerals in it. That's the thing that I try to get more. Um, I don't do uh, Gatorade and stuff like that. So I can't. It, I have a allergic reaction to some of the ingredients that are in those sports drinks. So this is kind of cool. This gives me that kind of same thing. And for 59 cents, uh, I bought three cans of it. So, um... Good little thing. Uh, you never really know with Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet's uh, uh, it's kind of a strange store because you'll find stuff in there and then you may not see it ever again. Uh, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool store, but if you see something that you like, you got to buy it right then. I probably should have bought more cans of beans. All right, going to do... A little uh, toasted egg sandwich, so I toasted up some of that uh, sourdough. It's a little dry, so I toasted it in some butter just to liven it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow bird hot sauce to this. I added some cheese as well. Um, this is the jalapeno one. And, uh, you know, maybe I should mention that uh, there's a link to yellow bird if you're interested in trying this sauce. Uh, and I... I do get a little, do you get a little commission if you buy something from their websites uh, using my link? But uh, you know, you don't have to do that. You can always just look for some yellow bird, or you know, you can just use your own hot sauce. I uh, I actually kind of like barbecue sauce on a sandwich like this, but I don't have any barbecue sauce anymore. So um, yellow bird, it is. I've been meaning to buy some barbecue sauce, but I'm a little picky on barbecue sauce. Uh, I'm also picky on hot sauce, which is why I like Yellow Bird so much. That was not a sales pitch, exactly. I'm, I'm just just really liking the Yellow Bird. I eat it every day. You know what's also good is this coffee. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Okay, breakfast is done. So let's go walk that little trail, because it looked kind of nice. So I've been a bit forgetful lately. I've got some things on my mind uh, that I've been focusing on, and so it's been causing me to forget things that I've been trying to relay. Uh, so I don't remember if I told you that there's no camping here at this particular state park, uh, but the reason I came out here is because uh, there is camping very close by, both campgrounds uh, and also some uh, dispersed camping, uh, free camping, not too far, just a little bit down the road here. Uh, so that's why I thought this area looked nice. Uh, if I wanted to stay out here, I could stay a little bit longer. And uh, I would normally prefer dispersed camping uh, instead of paying for a park, but there's both to choose from not very far away here. Now, I want to go down to the water trail, so let's see where that is. Yeah, that's it. Esther Maltby Trail to the River. Let's go this way. So apparently this forest is one of uh, the few in the state that didn't get uh, decimated by the uh, lumber industry years ago. Yeah, so it's a true old growth forest. That was another reason why I wanted to come out here. Well, that was a short walk and we are here to the White River. I wonder why they call it the White River. What do you think? Well, this has been absolutely awesome. I've just been sitting here for a while, enjoying this. This has been just incredible. The only thing that would have made this better is if I brought my coffee down with me. Why did I not bring my coffee with me? What is wrong with me? Let's not, uh, let's not broach that subject. That's, that's, there's a lot wrong with me, so let's just leave that one alone. But this has been fantastic. Well, I could sit here for quite a while longer, but uh, I could sit at home, so let me uh, move a bit. I need to walk, so we'll walk a bit around the loop. Um, I do wonder if we'll ever know why they call that the White River, but uh, we'll probably never find out. It's probably just a mystery for the ages.
Oh, this is a short trail, but uh, it takes longer than you might think because there's just so many spots where you just have to stop in your tracks. It's just stopping your tracks beautiful is what it is. Uh, so it took me a while to get around the loop, but I need some water. Maybe another cup of coffee. Okay, no coffee. I'm actually thirsty enough. I'm gonna crack into one of these uh, cans of liquid duff. Hopefully it doesn't uh, do its namesake on me. But I think I need the minerals and electrolytes at this point. This liquid death water is pretty good. It's not really liquid death. I think there's a joke going on there. But I can appreciate that because not everybody gets my jokes from time to time. Um, it's crazy how much flavor this has. I guess because of all the dissolved minerals in it. It's just got tons of flavor. Very interesting water. Um, so, as much as I like it here, uh, we are very close to Mount Rainier, and because we can't see it from this spot, I think we should just get on the road and try to get to a point where we can get a glimpse of the mountain. I don't want to drive all the way out there, and I also don't want to do too much mountain driving, but I was just checking the map, and a few miles down the road should give us a good view, and of course it's not cloudy anymore today, so be a good day for it, uh, even a far off view of Mount Rainier or I should call it the mountain. I think that's what the locals call it, the mountain. Uh, yeah, get a view of the mountain is what we should be doing. So let's uh, get back on the highway. Well, maybe I should explain that a little bit, uh, why I don't want to do a whole lot of mountain driving. And that's because I've got some issues on the van going on. Um, not sure if I should label them as major issues or not, but they're considerable enough that it keeps me from driving uh, real heavy inclines. Um, when it's warm, it's worse. And it's not a warm day today. It's cooler up here, but um, it's in the temperature that can kind of give the engine some trouble. So that's why I'm just not too uh, crazy about doing mountain driving. Um, if it were cooler out, I would attempt to go a little bit farther and uh, get a little closer to Rainier or even drive up right into Rainier. Uh, but you know, there's just these things we have to deal with. Um, I'm not saying this to try to get sympathy. This is just a vlog of my life. So that's uh, just a little bit of back information. Just something I, I have to keep in mind now. The van's getting older. Um, it, it's not in terrible shape, but it's getting older and it's it's a little nerve-wracking when I get to areas that don't have cell service. Uh, this spot amazingly has cell service. Not great, but it's got cell service. Uh, but I think once we get out to that viewpoint that we're going to head to, there won't be any service. So it's just something to keep in mind. I like to stay hopefully within walking or hiking distance to cell service if I am going to drive out to an area that doesn't have any service. That's just one of those things. Again, Nothing to, uh, you know, feel sorry for me about. This is just, uh, it's just a thing. Uh, this van's actually been really uh, a fantastic vehicle for me. Uh, in fact, it's been one of the more reliable vehicles I've ever owned, and it's a Ram. So, who, you know, you never really know. Uh, although I've, I've had bad Chrysler products too, so 50-50 uh, <laughs> uh, on, the, on the Chrysler stuff for me. Uh, anyway, enough talking about that doom and gloom stuff. Let's, uh, let's go get our view of the mountain. Well, the first viewpoint I had in mind, I got there and there was no view to be had. It was completely surrounded with trees, so I kept going to this viewpoint. What a view from here. This is fantastic, although we still can't see the mountain, uh, but great view here. Uh, although I now realize that I lied earlier. I thought I hadn't been out here before, but I do remember back when I first uh, came out to Washington here, I was working uh, in the warehouse uh, very, very early on. I took a trip around, drove around to the mountain, and I did drive around here, and I actually parked across from the Dales Park uh, Dale's campground. Uh, I remember that camp spot because I didn't want to park in the campground, uh, so I just parked on the other side of the road, other side of the highway, and uh, it's it's all national forest, so it was, it was legal and free to park there. But 
Uh, I heard people walking around the van at night. I, I also heard animals and stuff walking around the van. So it, was, it wasn't the most comfortable night I've ever had. When I woke up in the morning and it was light out and I took a little walk up the road, I realized that just a couple hundred feet up the road uh, was somebody's house. So I'm sure that they had come down to check to see who was parked down at the end of their driveway, although it, it was a Forest Service road. Kind of funny, uh, but yeah, I'm surprised I forgot about that. So I lied earlier. This is me coming clean. So I wish I could remember how far I'd have to go to get a view of the mountain. I just don't remember, it's been so long. So the trouble here is I've got limited cell service. In fact, I think the only reason I have Google Maps available to me is I downloaded the map uh, uh, to use offline uh, here. So uh, I'm not able to pick up any useful information, but I can just see the roads and all that from the download. Um, but I'm gonna drive a little bit farther and hopefully we'll get a view of the mountain. Continue on Washington 410 East for five miles. Okay, we did it. We got our view of the mountain. Had to drive into the park to get this view, but definitely worth it. Didn't have to drive too far in either. Um, I do think I stopped here the last time uh, I made this trip I was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, incredible. Now, the mountain is a little bit obscured with clouds at the moment, so we missed a full view of it, but um, it's beautiful nonetheless. Happy that we finally made it up here. Although, I'm now tired. It's getting to be about five o'clock, and hmm, I need to decide what I want to do. Oh, now that I think about this, this is why I keep an America the Beautiful Pass and buy one every year because you never know when you're gonna wind up in a national park and need that pass. I'm happy I've got it. So it's a little after five o'clock now, so I should probably be thinking about where I'm gonna either go or stay. And our options are we could keep going into the park and that would mean getting a campground, a park campground. Those are, I think about 30 bucks a night, 20 to 30 bucks a night, if we can find one available. Since it's summertime, may not be the best idea to try that. Uh, they might be booked up. Uh, if we keep going farther, it's just going to get uh, more mountainous and more hilly and turny and all that, which is what I was trying to avoid. Um, so we should probably just turn around and go back uh, and we'll either just go back into town or what might be a good idea is just to do some dispersed camping because just a couple miles back is uh, a national forest. So that might be the best option to at least look at. So let's head back there and see if we can find a dispersed campsite. Okay, quick change of plans here because I am starving. So I just pulled off the road here and just gonna park for a few minutes and make some dinner. And there is just a little bit of cell service here. So maybe I can kind of locate a camp spot for the night, hopefully, while I'm cooking dinner. Um, I have been snacking on some chips. I bought these at Grocery Outlet earlier because they were on sale, but um, they've only made me hungrier. So uh, that's why I decided just to stop and get some dinner started first. Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna use a little bit of this bread, except wasn't real happy that it was kind of stale. Um, maybe it's not really stale. Maybe it's just that I'm picky. And I am picky when it comes to sourdough bread. Uh, so I thought to make it taste a little bit better, uh, I would toast it off. And I'm toasting it off in some olive oil just to give it a little extra flavor. And then I've got some uh, local beef I'm going to cook up. And I'm going to make a little sauce for it. Uh, with some gravy. I actually had one of these uh, partially used containers, so I'll use up the rest of this and uh, make up a little sauce of that and some sour cream. So it'll be a little bit like a stroganoff sauce, sort of, kind of. Uh, and then, oh, I forgot, uh, I've got some peas, so I'll put some peas in there. I usually keep a bag of peas in the freezer just for cases like this. Um, one of the 
one of the things I wanted from Grocery Outlet this morning was avocados, and none of the avocados in there looked very good. Uh, a lot of them were overripe, so I didn't buy any avocados. I ended up just buying mostly junk, didn't I? Well, these those beans weren't aren't junk. Dates aren't junk. Yeah, I no. Okay, I guess I just bought some chips, which are junk. <laughs> I thought I added too much water at first, but uh, uh, it's looking pretty good. I think with the sour cream it should be just about perfect. Usually you don't want to put sour cream in straight into the heat because it can split, but because I'm using this pack of gravy mix, it's got plenty of thickener in there so it should probably keep it from splitting. Oh, well, you know what else this is going to need? It's going to need some uh, black pepper, isn't it? So get rid of that. Yeah, I like pepper. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Actually, this is um, this is fairly tasty. So I parked here in this spot because I thought that there was a little bit of cell service. There's no service. So I'm kind of limited to what I can do uh, to search for a spot. But I am in luck because we are at the line of Snoqualmie National Forest, uh, just a few hundred feet. That direction is Rainier National Park, which we can't camp in. There's no dispersed camping allowed at all. Um, there's also a snow park right across the road, directly across the road from us, and I was keeping that as a last option. I'm not really sure what snow parks are exactly, but I know that they are free to park in this time of the year. I think between April and September, if I remember right. Uh, the other months you have to pay for a permit uh, to, to park there overnight. Uh, so that's a possibility. But I got out and walked this. There's this little access road here into the National Forest. Again, Snoqualmie National Forest. And it's a little rutted. It's a little, uh, you know, th th this is the time where I wished I had a little bit more clearance on my van because there's a couple spots coming back here that I might need a little bit more clearance. Uh, there's actually another access road back where I parked directly behind the van. And somebody drove in with a truck and a pop-up camper. Um, he made it just fine because, of course, he's got lots of clearance. But I can't go back that road. It's just too rutted. Uh, but I think I can do this one. So we are in luck. I'm going to come back here and try it. Uh, the most worrisome part for me is the uh, entry and exit here. It's a little steep. Getting in and getting out. I mean, I'm sure I can get in. Uh, we'll see about getting out tomorrow, but uh, that's that's for tomorrow to worry about. Okay, I think uh, change of plans again. I'm wimping out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of that spot. I'm actually having trouble getting out of this side, and this side is not nearly as steep as the other side. So to, I guess to play it safe, I'm just going to have to go take the snow park or go search for a camp spot someplace else. Yeah, I, I'm not kidding. I'm really having trouble getting out of here. I had to back up gonna get a running start. I'd never make it out of that other spot. What's complicating this is I have limited visibility out this side of the van uh, because I don't have a back window. So I've just got the side passenger window which doesn't afford me a whole lot of visibility over there. So um, eh, this is a little nerve-wracking. Just uh, do what I can. I'm gonna make a decision, do it quickly, and hope for the best. Oh well, I'm slightly disappointed. It was really nice over there. Uh, completely covered in trees, which I guess on the one hand, you always have to worry about limbs falling. 
on your vehicle uh, over there. So maybe, um, you know, let's let's be pessimistic and say that's eh, a bad spot over there. Uh, it was really pretty over there, and there was a short walk over to the White River, uh, where we have been kind of following up all the way today. Um, and this is just a big open parking area, so nothing exciting here, but uh, at least we know it's uh, going to be safe to get in and out of, and uh, it's legal, so there we go. And here's a little info on the area here. This is uh, National Forest, so the 14-day camping rule does apply. Uh, obviously, there's no water or trash cans anywhere here. Um, but uh, it, it'll be good for tonight. I'm tired. I don't want to drive anymore, so this is fine. Well, before I turn in, I'm going to take a little walk around the neighborhood. I usually do this when I'm in the city. I just walk around the block. Might as well do it here. It's uh, prettier, nicer, less traffic. All the way around, much nicer. Well, I just walked back here to get to the river behind the spot that I was going to take. This is a spot here, and actually walking this again, I realized there's probably another couple of ruts on this little Forest Service road here that I would have had trouble with too. I think I would have been able to navigate them a little bit. I would have had to climb up on the one side of the road a little bit, but um, yeah, that, that spot out by the highway I would have definitely had a bit of trouble getting out of there. Well, there are a ton of camping areas out here off of this little road. And if you've got just a bit of clearance, this would be a great, great spot to camp just outside of Rainier National Park. Oh, I am glad I walked back here. This is awesome. You know what else is awesome out here are the mosquitoes. If my camera work seems a little shaky, it's because uh, I keep getting bit. <laughs> well, today has been absolutely awesome. Do you ever have a day that just goes better than you could have ever imagined? Well, that's been my day today. I'm glad I didn't just stay back at the uh, state park back there this morning. I'm glad I traveled up here into uh, Mount Rainier. Uh, just got my toes into Mount Rainier, but I did get to Mount Rainier. We got a little view of it. And now we're out in the National Forest, which is usually my favorite place to uh, camp. I'll say camp in quotation marks. Um, and what's cool is I'm the only one here in this whole spot. I kind of wonder if I'm gonna have any neighbors tonight. It's, it's after seven o'clock. So I would have assumed there would have been a few people show up already, but, uh, well, the night is young. Um, anyway, uh, I am getting tired. I'm uh, about ready to uh, go to bed, have a cup of coffee first, and then I'm going to go to bed. But uh, that's uh, it for today. So uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.